Now we're going to video games. Yes. And this one actually comes from, a, it seems almost more of a leak than an actual like announcement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from uh, Riot Games, which don't, as far as I think, the only thing they actually make is League of Legends. Uh-huh. Uh, is that has uh, licensed out their property. For Which a one? new League of Legends, oh, <laughs> the okay. one property they have. For mechs versus minions. Yeah. Uh, so, th- I mean, League of Legends prob- it has to be one of the biggest money-making things in video games, right? One of the most successful free-to-play. For and sure. And esports around, I would say. Um, and so it's almost surprising that it would take them this long but what to do this. But what surprised me more so is the style of the game is not what you would expect. It is not a League of Legends translation where you're like playing against each other. It's a cooperative game where you're sending robots into battle <laughs> against the uh, for, to complete mm-hmm. some kind of a mission. Uh, and they said it was sort of like a robo rally thing where you're programming your your movements. Uh, and you, now you have played a good amount of League of Legends. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean I only stopped recently, but I still follow through because while well, I. Just can keep up with it. I do think it's actually. I do think it's a well-crafted video game, and I do think actually it would translate to a board game reasonably well. So what do you? What did you think about seeing this? That well, it's very I'm different. very split, uh-huh. and it's also interesting uh, because I well follow, because I still follow them and stuff. I've noticed Riot was has been always very hesitant with doing anything outside of literally their video game, mm-hmm. like act figures and clothing. It's only been a recent thing of, of official, mm-hmm. I should say. I mean, there's been plenty of other people doing stuff. So seeing this, I was like, oh, they're, they're spreading out more. Uh-huh. But it really only focuses on four characters. And considering the roster has over 100, and I will say that most of them probably can't translate into this because all of them are Yordles, which are pretty much your, your, your hobbits, your dwarves of the, okay. of the League of Legends universe. And they also, dwarves actually is the best, not dwarves, um, Gnomes, because they're very mechanic related. Fly is the bane of our existence. <laughs> I just smacked it. All right, keep going. But um, so you can only play this. So and none of the characters I liked were Giordles, So that's a little. But at the same time, you know, it's fun to see them try something different. So like, while I would love to see them somehow implement all their characters into this, the fact that they're at least doing something different but using their property is a good thing. Mm-hmm. And if you do like these characters, it's really cool to see them. So are the the ones in the game ones you actually do get to play as? Well, yes, but the I think only one of them has a mech. Okay. Huh. I'm trying to remember the the char- I'm forgetting one of them. I know th- uh, of the three I remember, two of them don't use mechs at all. Uh, that one of them makes turrets and the other one carries around a giant cannon, but they okay. give them all mechs and it's because, like I said, they're like gnomes and Dungeon Dragons. They, they, they're very they build things. They build they're lots the of things. Yes. <laughs> And that is really cool, though. And while this game isn't, I do, th- from, my, from what I've seen, I do think it actually would be very interesting to people who do play League of Legends. Because in the game, you know, is the, you have your four skills, you got to learn how to use them correctly in the right order to farm correctly or to destroy your enemies. This sort of has, still has that. Because like Roborale, you know, you're playing different spell ability or whatever they call them, spells, abilities, in a certain order to program your robot, your mech. So I still think it still captures that I have these abilities. What's the right order? I'm sure there's an ultimate in there for each of them. I, I will say the the miniatures looked really nice. Yeah, the game I think said was going for eighty dollars, which is what well, well in general board game is a little pricey if you consider what's in it and how usually other miniature games go. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Star Wars Rebellion just came out for like a hundred, and Match the Madness is like mm. 100, 120. So yeah, that that's not super unheard of now, and for a big property like this. Yeah, um, I'm very excited. I do hope it does well because I do think League of, Leg- League of Legends, and this is one of the things. I one of the reasons I do follow it, even though the game itself is literally just a competitive match. Like honestly, really, you don't need to write stories or backstories. They do. Mm. All these characters have rich backstories that, about them and who they are. And they have over 100. I mean, the same Overwatch, in essence, the same thing, but with a first-person shooter. I do think these two things would work very well in sort of sp- giving their property out to spread and almost give these characters a little bit more to do besides their point, click, and whatever their abilities are. Yeah, I, yeah it show, I think it shows that they actually sat down and said, what would make sense as a board game rather than just the obvious way, which is to clone our game yes. for cardboard? And I hope in turn that they sort of spread out. Like, there are other ways. Like, they, 
like I said, there's a, a war going. There was a war going on with two teams, so you can obviously make a, a more of a war game that maybe you control armies and you have generals who are the the champions from the League of Legends for each team. Mm -hmm. You know, they have like six different countries in there. So and a hundred champions, you could come up with a lot of fun things I think to do with League of Legends, and I'm hoping this is just the start. Well, I don't think they're they will be stopped by lack of sales. <laughs> no, I, I it'll probably be a, a big old hit. That comes out this year, in just a couple of months actually, uh, which is also kind of surprising. It's not even a, that's not a Kickstarter. That will be. <laughs> nope, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep trying. We'll keep trying. <laughs> anyway, look for that. You can uh, find pictures of it, more pictures of it below, and stuff like that.